Hello friends and enemies. Welcome back to Happy For Now. And I have yet another announcement. I know it's a lot right now, but these are worth it. This announcement is about the Dark Romance Readathon. We're back with round two. And I hope you're excited because I am. I'm so excited. We are going to be having this with the same group of us hosting. So it's myself, Tamika from Library of Tomes, Heather from Hia Booktubes, Naima from Naima Reads, and Ashley from Ashley Reads. I'll have all their links down below. If you aren't familiar with them, make sure you go check them out. They're delightful human beings and I adore them. We are hosting this April 15th through the 18th. So it'll be a four day readathon again. Um, we just, we always like the four days. Like I always like an extra day or so to finish up books. So I always feel like I end otherwise not finishing something up. So it'll just be a four day again. It is over <laughs> Easter weekend. So I hope you're ready to, you know, just get a little extra dirty that weekend. It's fine. It is a fine. So like last time we kind of picked one book that could hit like pretty much all the prompts and we picked prompts that are pretty easy to find in your dark romances. The book that we kind of based the prompts off of that you could read and that could be your one book and I think you would hit every single prompt is Annika Martin's Dark Mafia Prince. One of my favorites. One of the few books in which I have cheered for a hero to cut off a body part of a love interest. And he could have came back from it and I would have been okay. And I don't think there's many books in which I would feel like that would be okay. But this one? That could have been okay with me. That says a lot. <laughs> uh, so let's run through our prompts. As always, take these however you want and adapt them and make them work. We're not here to judge you. We aren't gonna monitor I, how accurately you did it. I We really could care less. It just wants you to lean in and read some dark romances this weekend and enjoy yourself and have a fun time. And I want to find all the new dark romances to read from y'all reading them. <laughs> Uh, cause that's like my second favorite part of this whole thing. So we have the following items, removal of a body part, uh, touch her and you die vibes, a criminal, family rivalry, mafia, public sex, badass heroine, and obsessive hero. And of course in the middle we have a free space. So any dark romance you read fits in that free space. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really fun time. I hope you're excited. I know I am. I honestly just cannot wait because I've been craving reading some dark romances and I have a lot of other things I need to read so I've been putting it off so it's just gonna be perfect we're just gonna slide right in here and read some absolute masterpieces of dark romance we will probably all have rec videos or a couple of us are gonna have rec videos the Monday before this goes up and I will post my TBR then as well the Monday or Tuesday before the readathon so I will share that with you then but let me know in the comments if you're joining us there will be graphics on our instagrams as well as uh any other info you might need i don't think there's anything else let me know if you're going to participate and if not that's fine but uh you know if not and you want to give me a book rack drop that below because i need i need some good dark romances right now i have been looking for them so drop those down below if you have any suggestions and i will see y'all in my next video thanks so much for watching i hope to catch you reading some dark romance in a few weeks bye already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get